Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to Aperture Tutorial Series. This is episode number 6, it's been quite long since previous episode. In this video, I'll show you how to use the keyframe fixture. I'll be using Aperture 1.4, but you can use any version above 1.3, I recommend using at least 1.3.3 or above. Anyways, let's go. So, what is the keyframe fixture? The keyframe fixture allows you to set up a camera path using keyframes, instead of points, like in the case with idle and path fixtures. A keyframe is basically a point in the graph, which stores features like value in the graph, interpolation, bezier handles, and easing at given tick in the graph. When camera playback is being activated, it calculates the values between keyframes, using their features like value, interpolation, bezier handles and easing, at given tick, and applies it to every camera aspect, that is XYZ position and camera angles. Thus that's why our keyframe fixture has 7 different graphs, which allow you to independently animate different camera aspects. This grants you a total control over camera's movement. If you don't know what an interpolation is, please go back to episode 2 of Aperture Academy, and watch it. The concept of interpolations is explained over there, thanks. Anyways, it's not that hard, maybe my explanation makes it a bit too complex. Let's just create a keyframe fixture. The first thing you'll see is a multicolored graph. This is Dope Sheet Editor. Here you can move around keyframes, and change their interpolation and easing. You can also move or change interpolation and easing of all keyframes at the same tick, by selecting any keyframe in the row labeled all. However, you can only edit values of individual graphs in their own tabs. If you click on any button, you can open the graph of the specific camera aspect, let's say, pitch graph. Here you can change the value and bezier handles, as well as tick, interpolation and easing of any keyframe. First, let's learn to navigate within these graphs. In order to move around, you have to hold middle mouse button, and drag around. If you want to zoom in, scroll the mouse wheel. Those controls work in dope sheet editor and graph views. However, in graph view, you can also zoom in and out only horizontally or vertically. Hold shift key for horizontal only zoom, and control, or command on Mac, key for vertical only zoom, while scrolling the mouse wheel. There is also a neat feature in both views, which allows you to preview the camera, or rather move the cursor in the timeline bar, by horizontally dragging the mouse, while holding the left mouse button. Now, let me show you how to work with keyframes. You can create keyframes by double clicking anywhere on the graph. To remove a keyframe, double click on it again. To select a keyframe, just click on it. You can also duplicate a keyframe by selecting a keyframe, then holding alt and clicking on the place where you want to duplicate this keyframe. If you want to change the position of a keyframe, you can either manually change the value within tick and value fields, by either dragging those, or inputting the numbers. Alternatively, you can drag the points themselves using left mouse button, you can hold control, or command on Mac, to change only horizontally the position of the keyframe, or hold shift key, to change only vertically. To change the interpolation of the selected keyframes, simply click on this button, and a list will appear, then you would be able to pick any interpolation. Quadratic, cubic and exponential interpolations also support different easing modes. Easing mode affects the acceleration of these interpolation. Experiment with it. These operations work both in graph and dope sheet editor. And finally, let's take a better look at Bezier interpolation. When you enable it for a keyframe, it will show handles on the current and then next keyframe. With these handles, you can adjust the curve by dragging them, which grants you a total control over the curve, as well as with keyframes, you can use control and shift to limit vertically and horizontally the dragging. However, you can also hold alt key to limit dragging of only the left or the right handle, instead of both. You can also use the flight mode to quickly create and edit keyframes. When you enable flight mode somewhere in the graph, where there are no keyframes at given tick, it will add new keyframes to all graphs, and it will continue updating the values when you fly around. However, if there was already some keyframes at that tick, be careful, it will create new keyframes in graphs where there were no keyframes, 
however, Bezier handles, interpolation and easing will be left untouched. And final tip when working with keyframe fixtures, if you're not comfortable fully working with keyframes yet, you can set up a path fixture, and then convert it to keyframe fixture by clicking on generate keyframe button. I hope this tutorial is very helpful, now you should be able to use one of the most advanced features of Aperture Mod. As usual, make sure to play around with interpolations and keyframes. Now go make an epic Lord of the Rings machinima, or something. Thanks for watching, and see you two months later with another episode.